So Sir, before I, uh, I, you welcome them as well. Uh, you know, what a wonderful film you've made and something that, you know, is so close to all of us. Thank you. Uh, our boyhood heroes are there in front of us and you're playing with fire. We'll come to you about that. But please do welcome the audience. I mean, they're eagerly waiting for that as well. So first of all, uh, on behalf of Movie Train Motion Pictures, uh, I welcome you all for this event. And it's a very, very special location for us. Uh, we have waited uh, for a long time for this. So, yeah? Okay. So first of all, uh, on this film, uh, when we started this film, the one thing that was in my mind is making a movie on a legend. The film has to have that quality. So we had that in mind. I had a wonderful support from my technicians to do that. So I would thank my team totally. I'll take their names one by one later. And uh, see, as an artist, I think uh, we should have a responsibility. The primary responsibility for an artist, I believe, is that we need to erase the boundaries between people. Uh, we have to keep reminding the society that the boundaries that are created by ideas and identities that man has created, like caste, creed, language, religion, nation, nothing is more important than humanity. I think, end of the day, yeah. So this story is a human story, I would say, of a little boy who was just six years old, who didn't know what his identity was. That boy grows up in a very what to say, the world is not fair for anyone. Uh, it has been a little more unfair for him. And he's wondering what my identity is. He couldn't understand who he was. And then he decides he's going to create his own identity. Maybe it was consciously done or subconsciously done. What I understood is that that boy created an identity for himself. So he realized I want to be someone who people would see that the way I want them to see me. That's how he became the cricketer. Now he's the legend. So that's all about it. Uh, I think I don't want to talk much about the film because now it's out to you to decide and tell us how we have done it. And to launch this trailer, I think uh, no one can be more appropriate than another legend in Sachin Tendulkar, <laughs> who we all know, uh, we all know that he is an inspiration for billions and I am one among them uh, whose life you have touched, sir. So I am very, very grateful for that. And it's, it's a, I think this will have a lasting impression on my life, uh, seeing Sachin today and interacting with him. He was the epitome of talent. We all know that, but I think what is more important is that his sportsmanship the way he handled himself. That was a big inspiration. So we are very grateful, very happy to have you here. And then uh, next to him is someone that we feared as much as we loved. <laughs> he He's someone who I would say that changed the way the game was played. Very few people can do that. After Sanat Jay Surya, the way the batting has changed totally. Now we have come to the era of T20. And uh, so we are very happy, sir, to come here and be with us and support us. So, and now I want to talk about a very important person. Uh, so he's a maverick director from Tamil Nadu. And he popularized street cricket with Chennai 28. And he has inspired a generation of filmmakers. Uh, and there's a very interesting incident when me and uh, Venkat Prabhu, sir, he's also my boss. So we went to Goa for a shoot. So you should know how much we loved cricket. And Ranjit was there and line producer Pichumani was there. And we went to a restaurant called Martin's Corner. And then we went to that restaurant because they told us Sachin's favorite restaurant. <laughs> we went there and then we wanted to eat something. And I have a mild seafood allergy. But I was shocked to see that Sachin's favorite was a crab. It was a king crab. I ate that anyways. <laughs> So uh, thank you, Venkat Prabhu, sir, for being here. And then uh, I would like to uh, thank Pa Ranjit, a good friend, a cultural icon more than a filmmaker. Uh, so thank you for being here and supporting us. And I'd also like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Vivek Rangachari, 
who is the main reason this project happened. Uh, he paved the way for the project. He's a pillar of support. And he set this up for us. Thank you so much. And then uh, Krishna Prasad, sir, from Sri Devi Movies, who is presenting this film. So thank you, sir, for the faith and the excitement you had on this film. Thank you so much. It's a big support for us. And then I would also like to thank uh, Mr. Pankaj Jay Singh, the CEO of UFO, for distributing the film in North India. Thank you. And then you can take over now. It's not ended, yes. Yes, we've done some introductions, but we will. So thank you so much yeah. for being so generous. We'd like to call uh, on stage Venkat Prabhu sir and Paranjit on stage to have a few words as well, please. Gentlemen, uh, when you see something like this, of course, sir had a lot of lovely words to say. But um, this was not so much about the numbers. It's about the emotion and in spite of all odds. What, what I saw from this trailer was what a brilliant journey by Murli sir. So, uh, you know, yes, your thoughts on being here, thoughts on sir, as well as the entire occasion of the film. Um, very, very happy to start with. I'm very, very proud of Shripati. He, we all... Uh, he was my first AD in my first film, and uh, Ranjit was there, and Pichu, Pichumani was there. So today's Teacher's Day, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> your student you. is right here. Thank you, thank yes. you. And um, actually, today happens to be a film which we all worked, uh, released uh, 15 years ago, same date. It's called Saroja. And uh, this movie released 15 years ago, and we are all together again after 15 years this, on another different stage for Sripati. And it's a great, great, um, you know, uh, feeling. Um, <clears throat> actually, this project was is very close, and uh, because uh, Murli sir uh, and uh, his wife Mati is Mati is actually my childhood friend. Uh, we are from the same neighborhood, and uh, I was supposed to direct the film first. And uh, I'm so happy he's done a better job than me. And uh, he's done a wonderful job. <laughs> Actually, I introduced Tripathi to Murli sir. And uh, they clicked very well. And, uh, and I was so, so very, very happy and proud for Tripathi to do this film. And he's done a wonderful job, as we can all see. Have you had a critical eye on the film? Or? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. I, will, I, I will have. And uh, the dialogues and everything. The last dialogue, which actually hit us, uh, left, right and centre actually, when, when he says he's a cricketer, more than anything. And I'm just looking forward to the film because all the technicians, most of the technicians working in the film, worked in the film a lot, uh, a very good friend of mine, uh, the DOP, music director, art director, everyone. So I just want to wish the whole team all the very best and I'm so happy to be here for Shripati. I think now Ranjit will take over. And yeah, of course, so, so, uh, this is my actually third time, sir, I'm meeting you, but I'm, I'm sure you won't remember the last two times, but it's, it's edged in my heart. <laughs> so I met you once in, uh, in Chennai and, uh, and once in Dubai. And uh, nothing, just, I just took a picture, that's all. <laughs> that's, that's more than enough and, uh, for me. And, uh, sir, can you come a little ahead for the lights? Yes. And uh, it's, it's a great honor. For, you know, for you to be here and uh, Sanat sir to be here and to launch the film. I mean, I mean you're all buddies and you're best friends. And uh, for Sripadi's film, and you're all there, it's, it's a great honor, sir. It's, it's uh, now no need. I mean, the movie will be, you know, known to every single cricket lover all over the world. You know, we can't ask for anything better than this. Thanks to you, sir. Thanks for inspiring. Always. And, and you were talking about a selfie, sir. Trust me, the selfie I take today with all of us at the back. <laughs> that will break. Yes, absolutely. That is, that is absolutely. Happen. So, your, your thoughts? Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, I'm not comfortable speak with English, so I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, please, please. On me, one of my interesting trailer, and um, I got very emotional. And uh, actually, on the Murli Sar and Angay, I miss Panona. Like on the South African team, on the Makaya Nitini Rupar. Like our park rupa, I can connect easily with Nitini. So Murli sir, on the, ah, uh, every connect panipuna, namma urla urall, 
லைக் இஸ் லைக் தமிழியன் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வந்து லைக் ஐ மச் நான் ரொம்ப கனெக்ட் பண்ணிப்பேன் அவரும் அவரோட பவுலிங் லைக் அவரோட ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் லைக் அவர் ஏன் வந்து தமிழ்நாட்டில் பிறந்திருக்கலாமே தமிழ்நாட்டில் தான் பிறந்தார் அவர் இல்லை தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருந்து இந்தியாவுக்காக ஆடிருக்கலாமே அப்படின்னு தோணும் Shripati sir, if, if for those who would not have understood this, I understood Makhaya Antini there. If no, you could he, just... He was just telling that uh, how it would have been uh, great if Murli had born in Chennai, uh, Tamil Nadu, so that he would have played for India. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. So Imagine a, that team. That Tamil Tamil Sanat sir also should have been born in India. Imagine yeah, that. No, no, no. <laughs> as a Tamil Nadu, <laughs> like when Sanat sir was born in India, he was born in India. And so this part also. See, wherever the laughs are coming, I want everyone to know what happened. So no, this this when I, when I look at uh, Sanat sir there's so much of fear, anger fear, fear and anger he we wanted to beat like no exactly. <laughs> but we'll yes. all be happy sir in, in Tamil Nadu everybody will be happy when you take a wicket <laughs> if anybody else we are not that very happy no, especially 96 ke world cup no <laughs> i literally cried <laughs> everyone <laughs> cried sir everyone cried the way sanat sir played uh, yes. we all like so no first we were there were tears of joy when sachin sir was smashing sixes exactly and then there was sh- let's shut the tv and put, put it away the moment they started batting that's how it happened for us is a run out stump 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 yes. out yeah it's a it's a very bad day for us yeah. <laughs> yes but but no, yeah. apart from that no um, i'm really expecting uh, this movie and um, yeah a lot of people waiting for critically and like no stribadi you have a na solradu or periya vela irukke and vandu definitely makkalukku idu pidikum nu nenikiren and critically idu attend pannirukinga na nenikiren nanu ena vandu it is not easy to make a, a murli dharan movie because of that uh, we have a some problem with uh, like uh, politically you know so yeah we are waiting and um romba interesting ah irukku definitely vandu indha padam vandu or periya or discussion create pannu nu nenikiren and cricketers ku vandu or romba pidicha padamavu maaru appdi nenikiren enoda vaarthukal indha technician ellarkum vaarthukal and super ah irundhu magichi thank you thank you very much sir thank you thank sir you. would you like to say something no no They're yes yeah, yeah. thank you gentlemen please please do have a seat thank you yes no no sir thanks stay here Uh, Shripati sir, this is uh, your moment of glory. We're not asking you to go at all. We're not going to allow you to go. I'd like to call people on stage now that have... He's already mentioned so many names, but we'd like to call all, all of them on stage. And as well as the lead pair also. But first, uh, the producer, Vivek Rangachari sir. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for putting this together. And this film is presented by Krishna Prasad Ji from Shri Devi Movies. Can we have uh, the gentleman on stage as well? Uh, Pankaj sir, uh, the CEO of uh, UFO Films. Uh, the north district a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen and vishnu prasad as well sir from ufo movies can we have him as well on stage vishnu sir yes big round of applause ladies and gentlemen see it's very difficult to make a film then it's even tougher to actually release the film and then when you go out there and release it to get accolade uh, uh, you know in these days to get accolades is very very difficult last 3 months has been very good for us and we're very very happy about that and now ladies and gentlemen uh it is that crowning glory to call the lead actor how he is played murli sir how he is not played murli sir is relevant you are part of history madhur mittal ladies and gentlemen big round of applause for him <laughs> wonderful congratulations and i like to call uh, the leading lady as well of the film maima nambia ladies and gentlemen big round of applause for her as well Yes. Right. So I'll just uh, give some mics out. We'll have a little. Uh, we'll just push them across. Yeah. Right. So uh, one at a time, sir. How has it been? First of all, Madhur, this is your moment of glory. That it can't be more intimidating. Sight in front of you. Yes. The absolutely. three gentlemen in front of you. <laughs> yeah. This is like a uh, the child inside me is is crying with joy because. Yes. what a moment right like i can't still believe that the responsibility of playing a legend like murli sir was bestowed upon me and uh, all i did was try to follow my captain yes. <laughs> and uh, in in times of turbulence i just always looked to him and if he was smiling then i was happy that was my meter in uh, in no, trying but, but to what i love about this film also what what we've seen so far right the emotion uh, you know the fight against all odds it's not about the numbers only we all know the numbers we know the wickets we know everything by heart we know all the wisdom books right that part has come out very strongly and i'm sure that is there and 
much more in the film and that's the biggest human story I think that we're all looking at. Yes, so uh, I think this film goes ahead of uh, just being like a sports film because there's this huge socio-political uh, landscape and, and, and the journey that uh, the character goes through, the country itself goes through. So um, I think that that's what we were more after. It's, it's more than just the numbers, just the mannerisms, we were more after the man. And, and what made him who he is today. So uh, I hope we've been successful in doing that. And, uh, no, you have. I, I wouldn't like to talk too much when we have people like this. So I'd, I'd rather. Yes, but I, I, I actually give across to Maima. Uh, big occasion, yes. you know, and of course, uh, uh, try and uh, not see the three gentlemen in front of you, but see also <laughs> the screen. You must be really excited because now you're all going to be part of history. Yes, yes, um, exactly. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice meeting all of you here. I'm, I'm extremely happy to be standing here at the trailer launch of our uh, of our film uh, this film is very special for me because aap sab ki tarah main bhi mutya murli dharan ji ki bahut badi fan hu and i'm um, super excited and i'm genuinely waiting for all of us to watch this film because uh, uh, this film talks about uh, sir as a human being as you know the hardships he had to go through and all the struggles and how he overcame all of that and how he's sitting in front of us with a smile on his face always with a smile yes, on his face yes always with a smile the on his face big eyes and the smile is always there correct, with Murli, correct, sir correct exactly and i'm honored to play uh, his wife's role in the film because she is that stone that stood beside him uh, besides him throughout i mean throughout his journey through his thick and thin and, and i'm extremely honored to uh, play the part of his wife in the film adi mala ma'am hi <laughs> and how does I it feel <laughs> to actually see this is this is you <laughs> yes. um yes. <laughs> yeah i'm so happy and i'm running out of words i don't know what to say i'm, I'm just happy and i'm excited and I'm, i can't wait for all of you to watch the film yeah and i'm sure i mean we're all uh, super excited as well uh, vivek sir you know, this is, a, this is a mammoth. This is, whenever you talk about trying to showcase a living legend, right. there aren't too many around. In sports, there are definitely a few around. Right. But very few take the task of trying to showcase that and, you know, give their own story. It's not a, a documentary. It's right. about a story which has actually come across. That's what people need to understand as well. So when you came on board, mm -hmm. uh, were you a little scared? Yeah, it was intimidating uh, initially, of course, as a legend, uh, Murli sir. Uh, it's taken some time for us to set this film up to shoot. There was, of course, COVID and, and disruptions midway. Uh, the first film that actually I've produced or we produced, which is a biopic, so it had its own challenges. But I think uh, it was a great uh, journey for us all, uh, making this film and going through that journey. So it was fun and looking forward to showing it to the world. I'm sure they're all waiting for it as well. Multilingual always makes it literally the world over there. Uh, Prasad sir, presenting the film. Hi sir. Yes. I'm very happy and uh, honored to release this film. And uh, especially today, Bharat Ratna, our Sachin ji. And uh, this is a great emotional journey about this film. As you said, yes. everyone thinks it's a great film. I'm extremely happy to release this film of our legend, Muttai Thank you. Good luck, sir. No matter what, you know, you may see uh, the biggest names. When you see childhood heroes, everything becomes like this. Na? Everyone becomes, yeah. I had prepared so much and not being able to say anything. That's, that's what happen it happens with everyone. Yes. Uh, Pankaj sir, first of all, congratulations from UFO Films. You've come on, coming off a great run. They call it a purple patch if you're a batsman or a bowler. Aapka bhi purple patch with jailer, so congratulations there. Well done. You know, it's all great. I'm, I'm so excited to come on stage these days because films are doing well. So, this will be another one in your kitty, just to how you got involved with this. Just a little uh, background first. UFO movies, uh, we set up in 2005, about 17, 18 years now, with the sole idea that whatever is the movie, day date, it should be screened in the nooks and corners of India. Why just have a day date in the metros? Now, today, taking this biopic, an inspiring movie, to maybe the nooks and the corners of all India on the day date and maybe just one person, if he takes the inspiration from this biopic and tries to move in the footsteps of a Murli sir, boss, this movie is a hit. Yes. And I'll be very happy that we were a part of taking this movie to the uh, audiences, N nothing, li nothing like it. And of course, uh, thanks to uh, uh, Mr. Rangachari and uh, uh, Prasad sir, they put the money where their mouth is. Yes. I hope all the best for them also, so that they can produce another such inspiring biopic yes. and we are again all meet over here. Thank you sirs for uh, promoting this movie, I really appreciate it a lot. 
this kind of awareness is a kind a noble deed rather than a commercial deed thank you very much sir it is also an incredible dream for a pr to have this kind of attendance also trust me even if she wanted it if she, if she would not have known so congratulations to hema as well she's very excited avishu sir just to be part of this film like i said in the last two months has been good but you know Absolutely. you always get a little scared it's like the stock market if it's going to up now you get a little scared yeah uh, anyways i think uh, um, more or less we have known murli the cricketer but i would love to know murli the man through this film and all the best sir to everybody in everybody involved in the film and thank you very much thank you very much and since we spoken about the man so much for a photo of murli sir we like to call you on stage yes big round of applause ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Gentlemen, if you could all come in front and Mahima as well, please, uh, for a photo op, and then we'll ask the cast and crew to have a seat while we then move forward. Yes. Okay, slowly, slowly. So the way we'll do it is because the photographers are left and right, so we'll all look to the left a little bit. Just a minute. Yes. So first, we'll all look to the left. Uh, first day yes yes done yes thank you very much thank you gentlemen yes thank you now ladies and gentlemen Now this is where the heart is to go. Dug, 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 dug first. So I'd like to call uh, Murli sir on stage. Sanat sir will join us in five minutes. He's actually gone for a live telecast, so he'll come in five minutes. And we'd like to call the master. For all of us, he's just the greatest of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Sachin sir and Murli sir on stage. Big round of applause. <laughs> Photograph in a bit. Yes. Sachin sir, how do you handle? So I, I, everyone narrator story. I also narrator story. Thanks to this hosting for 10, 11 years over a period of time, I've been meeting sir. Just every single time, I get so excited when I see you. How do you handle all these people getting so excited from age of five to 75? How do you handle it even now? It's a blessing. First of all, I'm I'm here to wish my very very dear friend Murli. Uh, all the very best because this thank you this movie this biopic people need to know what happened in his life i i remember meeting him the first time in 1993 93 yeah that sounds 93 ages yeah. ago yeah but uh, you know we continue to be good friends coincidentally i was i was in sri lanka just last month for unicef work and uh, I messaged Murli that I am in your beautiful city. Where are you? He says I am in India. What are you doing in Sri Lanka? <laughs> And that's how that's how you know I am here. He spoke to me for the first time about his biopic, And uh, he said, "He would you would you be able to come for the event?" He said any time for you. He is so humble. He is so simple. He is in spite of achieving so much in life. it's impossible to refuse him so thanks. i said i'm i'm going to be there and that's the only reason i'm here wishing you all the best thank you thanks a lot murli sir you've always had this smile on your face you've always been a smiling assassin you know the poor fellow is smiling at you and the wicket is out but <laughs> generally speaking you know your rivalry was legendary of course so you had the two gentlemen in that time that were brian lara sir and sachin sir the two two greatest of all time but you were like that common factor in the middle for everyone it's almost like you know the world was always against you and you you put on the tv at 9 o'clock in the morning for the test match you're bowling at 4 o'clock in the afternoon you're still bowling even if the rain has gone you're bowling in the nets so first before i ask anything how were you this machine who was able to bowl for ever and ever and keep bowling all these overs how uh, before first of all yes. thank you very much uh, because coming for me and supporting me and also you know because i i am also fan of him more than a, a colleague and a friend and more the fan of him 
because um, you know that what he has done in cricket nobody could do because it is impossible to generate even another hundred years nobody can come like him because it's it's, it's a fact because I'm uh, not because of saying my friend because it's a fact because when someone get 15 years a first class hundred it's impossible. In 16 years, 17 years, you're getting a test 100. It's also impossible. So uh, you have shown the way of billions of people how to play cricket, how to be humble like him. And I've seen more cricketers. He's the most humble person in Indian cricket. Few words and uh, with the friends, is is enjoys, but few words with everyone. So I think um, he's the best forever because in an, another Sachin Tendulkar won't be born in, 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 this, in this entire That's why they universe. call him the master. Until my life <laughs> finishes, right? So, that, so um, for your questions, uh, what are you asking? I forgot so about forget you. it. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was very simple. Yes. You yourself, sir, are the greatest of all time from that side. As well. You know, I, I have to say this, you know, we were always gunning for you when you were not playing against us. I hated you when you were playing against us. But otherwise, you just kept on and on. You were like a lone, like how Sachin sir at one time was probably one of the only people, you know, if he got out, he switched off the TV. I'm sure with a lot of Sri Lankans across the world as well, if you were bowling and you know, if you had a bad day, they'd be really disappointed. You were carrying the shoulder, I mean, uh, you know, the entire Sri Lankan team on your shoulders for so long. Just talk about that experience as well also, because you're, in many ways you're very similar. So two things, uh, I know Sachin was carrying the same way, of, it is harder, because batsmen all have one chance. So one mistake, you're finished. Bowler can do many mistakes, so I have a better chance of succeeding than him. I'm, I'm still <laughs> waiting for that juicy half fall, he has never bowled that to me. <laughs> So, so it was uh, difficult, but thing is, you know, because to carrying the whole team, because the reason was uh, Sri Lanka was uh, not a great side uh, when you when I started, because then only it became slowly became because legends like Sanat and Sangha to Mayala to Arjuna Aravinda all came that when when we are playing our era. So that's why I think uh, at the time bowling wise because. See, I took a lot of wickets because I am bowling one side. <laughs> because somebody has to yes, take sir. wickets, yeah. right? You are very, very modest, other, sir. No, and Vas. Vas and me yes, to yes. bowl because didn't have much. In later later stage, only the bowlers came. Yeah. So, I had a opportunities, a lot of opportunities. The pressure is high. So, that pressure because you, if you enjoy the game, uh, you don't think about the end result. Mm -hmm. And you just want to just at the time, at the person, who am I bowling to? On your day, you might beat that person, but some days that person will beat. So you have to accept it. So I think I accepted and always didn't get upset getting you know, wickets or not because keep a smile because I have to enjoy the game. So I will advise any cricketer rather than thinking about performance, just go and enjoy. Be, be great for the God because you are given the participation is more important than uh, having succeed. So I think that's the way it is because I lived in 18 years in uh, 16 years in Aust 10 to 12 years in hostel. So that was given me a thought that you have to be like, you know, sharing and be happy every time because there are a lot of problems you'll have, but still you have to be happy. So that's why it could that teach me to how to play cricket. Uh, in the latter part of it. So, what do you think made uh, Murli sir great? You know, when they say that there's something that is always there, you played against the greatest of you know all of the bowlers. Uh, what made him so special, even while you were playing? Because I remember for a long time, Murli sir used to only bowl the incoming delivery. Eventually, later on, you developed the other bits, and we saw that just with that one ball also, he used to keep on at it. So, what was so great about Murli sir as a bowler? See, just now the way he answered that earlier question. That if uh, an individual is not going to appreciate for what one is able to go out and do, how would the rest of the world appreciate? And that is what mental strength is all about. There are not going to be uh, good times every time you go out. There are going to be ups and downs. There are going to be disappointments. But from those disappointments, how do you rise back, get on your feet and start competing? That makes you a real sportsman. And exactly that is what he possessed. He, like you said earlier, that you know he just loved bowling. But 
the whole world knew that he had a big turn. I mean, you make him bowl on an expressway, he is going to turn the ball. <laughs> you know, no matter how the surface is, Murli is going to turn the ball. And uh, he did not rely only on that. Just with that turn itself, he was a dangerous bowler. Because they, in our meetings, we would discuss uh, hours on end, how to tackle him, what are the signals to pick, all those things. But he kept reinventing himself. No, so and the signals, the, I want to the, ask you, you said in an interview how you used to read on the hand. Uh, I'm still figuring out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, I, I will say. No. See, definitely, uh, see, uh, some players read. I know he, he read me very well, right? Uh, not many people can do. But Lara had success, but he never read me also. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> because I don't know what, what uh, mechanism he did, uh, but um, he read me yes. and also few people, I know, I know uh, Rahul Ravid, he's <sighs> one of the greatest players. Yes. He never read me. Really? <laughs> I knew, I knew that. No. <laughs> I knew. So Sachin always, Saeem and Shevag and uh, those players in Gambir are like the players, some players read. Some players, even later, sometimes they play on that. So, it's it's definitely definitely I am saying um, uh, he read me. Few people read me, and even even in my team, some people read and some people doesn't because some some are playing ways are different. Because a legend like him, he watch from the seam of the ball from yeah. the hand itself. Some people doesn't they read through the pitch. Of the pitch. Yes. And that's where he was. Yes. So when. Like he said, that very few few guys read him, but in that also he wanted to develop more things, you know. And and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he developed Dusra in the late 90s. Yes, much later. Yes. And uh, the story that I heard through Harbhajan was, "Isne Dusra dalna to bahut pehle sikha tha, magar wo net me practice kare ja raha tha." So for 18 months. He continued practicing Dusra in the nets before he bowled the first ball in international cricket. And that the reason the reason for that was that he should not lose his original strength, the qualities that he possessed. While continuing to bowl well in test cricket, in that you continue also to develop new things, introduce new things, because you have to, like I said, you continue reinventing yourself like how bowler is reading batter's mind batters are also trying to figure out what the bowler is trying to do so the combination and to then plan this execute consistently outsmart batters is not easy and that is what we experience all the time <laughs> and a gentleman who probably didn't care about the pitch the overcast conditions he just had a bat in his hand and he used to go six balls, four sixes only. His name is Sanaj Jayasurya. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have him on stage? For the man who was famous, sir, for your forearms and your grip. <laughs> we must have that story also. Did you work specially on, every time people saw you, the way you hit the ball, you know, was, was devastating. So yes, Murli sir is here. I know you're very happy about that, but that story we have to know. Were you always working your forearm so you could smash the bowlers for some 200 meters? No, no, I, I never use. <laughs> I no. can't. I, I can't play with a heavy bat like Sachin. My ah. bat is very light. Oh, really? Yes. So just a toothpick smashing 200 meters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Murli sir and you, uh, in the most beautiful phase of Sri Lankan cricket, you know, you've known this film is is you. You're all there. You know, and uh, what I love about how this film is also talked about is that entire time when I remember live cricket, Arjun Arundunga put his uh, hand on your shoulder during the entire chucking controversy, and the whole team came together as one. You know, that entire time, and him, I remember there was a very dejected Murli sir walking on TV. I remember watching that also and saying, what's going on? As a unit, was that perhaps like an incredible family, that entire Sri Lankan team that was dominating the world and fighting also and giving a statement? Those years, tell us about that. Yeah, I think that uh, that was the incident uh, uh, for us to make, uh, to win the World Cup in 1996. That incident, because in Australia, we went through a really a bad time and Murli went through a difficult time and we were all backing him 
including captain. And as a team players, we did much as what we can do. And what we can do is after we came back to Sri Lanka, we went through a difficult time again. And the World Cup was started. There are some teams didn't turn up. India came with the Pakistan to show the world that Sri Lanka is safe. We are always thankful to India for doing that, to come to Sri Lanka. And because of that, we survive our cricket. So it's thank you. Every time our, our younger generation didn't know sometimes these things what happened in 1996. So when the other teams didn't come, they straight away came from our opening ceremony to Sri Lanka and play, uh, show the solidarity, solidarity with the Sri Lankans. So we're thankful to India all the time, what you all did for Sri Lanka cricket. And great man is here with us um, uh, to inaugurate this uh, Murli's thing. And I'm very happy to be here and a great human being. And when you share the dressing room, very difficult. <laughs> I have to ask you this, Anas, sir. <laughs> very, very difficult uh, dressing room. You can't get out. Get, when you get, get out and come inside the dressing room, you'll have to put the earplugs. He and screams hiding. at you? Yeah, 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 yeah. No chance. Really? Like no I, chance. angry screaming? He, he don't want to lose a game. If somebody is batting well, if somebody is throwing a wicket, if somebody is getting out, he will come and say all sort of things. <laughs> <laughs> he will do everything to how do you get out, you should not do this, you should do this. Uh, he is coaching. <laughs> he will coach the whole thing the ma till the match finish. If you lose the match, you are finished. If somehow win the match, yeah. you are all right. Wow. <laughs> the smiling assassin, they say. <laughs> Sanat sir, one more uh, question to you. Did you ever feel bad when you are hammering all the bowlers? Like that poor fellow, his career might be over after your over is over. I want to honestly ask, did you feel bad? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't feel bad. You just go and play your natural game all right. the time. Yeah. So that, that's all I do. Yeah. Sachin sir, did you have a plan for him? What was the team meet? Team, one team meeting for him. Then what about Kalvatarana and Sanat sir when they were batting? Was there a special meeting there? 100%. I was just telling him that uh, you were discussing World Cup semi-finals and that is where we ended up discussing for an hour on him and uh, Kalu. First out. And I first over, both of them got both out. Both of them got out. <laughs> we thought we'd won. <laughs> yeah, they, I never, mean, they never got any plans for Arvind and Roshan Mahanam. <laughs> <laughs> Sanat, uh, Sanat uh, playing against him, I mean, I, I, saw, him, I saw him first time in uh, 1990 when he was here with uh, the Sri Lankan team. We played in Chandigarh one test match. He unfortunately got injured and couldn't play that test match. But uh, other than that, like I said, uh, Sanat to have in our dressing room, there were a few exhibition games also we played other than IPL. It was nice to have him in our dressing room than the Sri Lankan dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you were very hated, sir, as much as you are loved today. Yeah, batting ko bhi boxing glove pen ke aata tha baab. Okay, I'm going to play a... Uh, uh, a little game with you in just before I uh, uh, one last question I ask you. Then I'm going to play a little game with you all, which is going to jog your memory as well. Uh, Murli sir, you know I think I uh, this is the other side we heard about you, which is in the dressing room side. But how you always maintained this you know happy uh, exterior because cricket also went through a huge change, you know, and you came back with a vengeance after this entire controversy and you took so many wickets that you know there was always Warn versus Murli, Warn versus Murli. Were these things in your head, were you thinking about these numbers and all? Because after a point in time, it was just the two of you. I think uh, Wasim Akram sir was far back. So it was just the two of you, you'd pass Walsh and you'd pass everybody. Did you all think about it? Because spinners getting these kind of wickets and you know, uh, you all were dominating the world cricket at that time. Did you think about rivalries? No, because uh, it's a number only wickets. Because it's enjoyment is winning the match and uh, you're winning for your country is the most enjoyable thing. And uh, you want to do your part because it takes own cost because wickets will come. And uh, see, if you're playing daily and playing, so you take wickets, numbers will come. So just add, if you ask Sachin also, same thing because he never thought he will get 18,000 or 16,000 when you start the, the yeah. game and the middle of the game. But it's just piled up because it's just a, uh, it takes cost because you're enjoying the game. You're just following what he wants to make India win, I wants to make Sri Lanka win, Shane, Shane also same. He wants to Australia to win matches and be happy, so it's numbers. And uh, don't forget about Anil also, uh, he was, was there because yes. he was, no, you should not forget him because Never. he's also a great <laughs> bowler. He got 600 wickets, 660, yes. it's not easy to do that. Yes. So, 
So we three were at the same era, same age, little bit uh, two, three years here and there. Mm -hmm. Because I always thought if I play more, I might end up in more wickets. Because that's the only case. Not because they are not talented or anything. They are a little bit older than me, three years. So that's what happened. Otherwise, anybody could achieve this. Uh, these, these two people could have achieved the 800 also. Mm -hmm. If you keep on playing, because they were great bowlers when they are retiring also. Uh, they were not uh, like you know light bowlers because they can keep on playing because one stage you have yes. will come yes. in life everyone thinks okay that's enough <laughs> day and door you have to get up in the morning do these things and everything so that's what happened to me and i retired so uh, i think uh, it's a it's a media and other people will come see when sachin and brand they will compare both of them who who gets who's going to go everything so it's a comparison by the interest of the public. Well, we that, enjoyed it. Yeah. We enjoyed the rivalry a lot. So I'm going to start a little rapid fire, which is going to be, yes, sir. Do you know one point? I mean, yeah. he said that, you know, he, he's bowled for so many years. But does anyone know how many overs he's bowled in international cricket? <laughs> he's bowled 10 and a half thousand overs That's <laughs> in international cricket. Uh, 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 no, international cricket, mein, but also first class cricket add another at least 10,000 overs Jesus. and before that maybe another 15, 20,000 And overs. no shoulder injury. So, no, 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 no. only <laughs> one. <laughs> Out so of 90 overs Sachin, he bowled in a test match 35 overs. Against you <laughs> No, no, no. On his own. The captain, captain he by force he is getting the ball. <laughs> I can remember. Nine, 1993, India is left and light hammering us <laughs> because uh, test matches, I can remember, yes, yes. everyone is getting hundreds and hundreds. Uh, so in Bangalore, I can remember we played only one fast bowler, he opened the bowling. So, <laughs> so, so because we thought uh, they were, India was strong with three spinners at the time, Ra Venkabri, Raju and uh, Anil, Anil and uh, Chauhan. Cha yes, Rajesh, Rajesh Chauhan, Chauhan yes. right? So these three guys take wickets. So we thought at least we play more spinners <laughs> and get there. So I end up with bowling, start with uh, uh, first he bowled and three overs I started. And I end up with bowling till uh, when they declared 600 <laughs> runs, declared second day <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> but continuously one end I pulled. So like that, the, those years. So you were talking about the Bangalore hammering. I remember 952 as well. We all remember that, right? <laughs> 340 on City on, City on this side. I don't know. Let's not go into those memories. Let's come into some, some fun stuff for us. Since you've been so honest, one question has gone out of the window. Mm. You said, sir, are you better than Lara? So that's done. Mm. Who was the opposition that you found the easiest to bowl to? Because I remember England also 9 for something, 84. But easiest. Now, honestly, sir, easiest opposition that I'll get them. Mohamed Yusuf. Oh, really? Oh, as a batsman? No, yeah. as a full team, I'm saying. A whole full, full team was the who could not pick you and they were always scared. One guy or? No, whole team. Which whole team, team that was you felt? See, I can't tell one. Two teams were very, uh, didn't play. England and uh, South Africa. England? Ah, ha, ha. Yes, South Africa. Darren Cullinan, I remember. Poor, poor, poor chap. Easiest opposition for you to smash. And we are here in India. You can say anything you want, sir. <laughs> Easiest opposition for you to smash as a batsman? There's no easy opposition for <laughs> <laughs> No, but as, as, as a bowler. Sarat sir, right now you said you didn't feel bad for anybody. So you can say that opposition. Or an opposition. I always go after Venkatesh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Venkatesh Prasad, huh? Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. This game is called first time, last time. Okay. First time, and this is a jogging of memory. First time you all wore the national jersey. Sachin, sir. 16th of November 1989. Yes. Sir, first time you wore the national jersey. 15th. Fifth. First time you wore the national jersey. I was getting confused. <laughs> I know the match, but I know that I don't know the date because against Australia 1992. Okay. Uh, in Katarama, the first time I won. Uh, national jersey for test match because one day of course uh, 1991 yes sanat sir you remember odi game uh, boxing day in australia yeah 1989 that's correct but we saw the marauder much later okay uh, first time you got sachin sir out you took many years you remember the match i can first time yeah First time he didn't give him a chance because he was hitting me every time <laughs> <laughs> I bowled in 90, actually it's 90, so in 1993 maybe once I would no, have... No, 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 it, it happened in a one day in Colombo. 
1997 when he got him out in one so, day. So that means you see, five years he smashed me. <laughs> 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 I haven't you, got him out at all. <laughs> you got him. You got him a few times after that as well. But of course, yes. Okay. Uh, first big match when the three of you all played. Which one was that? You know, when all three of you all were part of the teams. Uh, I can remember that. Yes, uh, sir. When according to me, 1994. 94. When they came to India. Yeah. yeah. 93. That is. 93, 94, 93, 93, 94 season. We played, we played in uh, Lucknow, uh, Ahmedabad and Bangalore. Yeah. That was the first time you all, yeah. uh, all, all of them were on stage. All right. Okay, the last time you all picked up cricket gear in a ground to play. Is last time we got cricket gear, but the bat, ball, in helmet. The international match or the normal? No, no, any, any time. Now, the, nowadays you have so many other matches. Also. Last Le time we picked the legends match. Also, you're <laughs> okay, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no
we are uh, at this special occasion where your biopic is uh, released, the trailer is released, and, and uh, I'm sure everyone is going to watch the movie. So will I, and I want to wish you the very best of luck. Sanat, best wishes to your family as well, you. everyone at home. Thank you, thank you very, very much. much once again. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. I would like to thank Sachin for coming here and uh, making sure that uh, this uh, been presented to the public. And also Sanat is a great friend. And also we play together same era and same time dressing room. Uh, even though we are not in now playing matches, still we meet up and catch up. Even with Sachin sir also, uh, we always uh, love him and also he's so humble and anytime approachable. That is the most important part. See, anytime your past cricketers approachable, that is more important because for their things also, we will stand for them. They also stand for our things. So that is the greatness of uh, the, the legend. The more than a legend is uh, because, uh, you know, because he's the one who carried away Indian yes. cricket for nearly about three decades. Forever, so. sir. <laughs> and he's actually the reason why I think people started watching TV and that's yeah, why yeah. TV rights have a lot to thank to Sachin Tendulkar. That's and, how it and happens. And also, I would yes. like, to, like to thank uh, Sripati director and uh, especially uh, director Venkat Prabhu because uh, everyone doesn't know because I was not interested to do these movies and everything. So I just, he just, because my wife's uh, childhood friend, just visited our foundation and then came through my manager to my house to have lunch and go. At the time, just he wanted, he presented and said, we have to do this. And I said, whatever, <laughs> that's up to you. Yeah. Then after that, unfortunately, he couldn't do, he had a lot of busy work and everything. Then Sripati did the job. So thanks Sripati, thank Venkat Prabhu sir. Uh, and also, I would like to thank all the actors and actors who done this movie. Um, Thank you very much. If you have done a great job, and hopefully everything goes well, and also the media and everybody, uh, thank you for coming here. And it's uh, uh, without you, we can't present it. So thank you, thanks, thanks a lot uh, for coming here and uh, coming to this occasion. Uh, thank you very much. And thank you. finally, thank you for you to presenting and uh, thank you, sir. making sure very comfortable yes. three of us. Thanks. Thank you. My honor. And uh, we can have some uh, pictures with the three of us. Let's just take the mics. Yes, I'll just take the mics. One second. Yes, we're doing the photo ops. If you could just extend, extend. Aage, This is fine. Yeah.
would, uh, it's a dream come true for me today. I'm seeing this class of 90s, uh, to see them in flesh, it's an absolute honor. So obviously I followed... Not clear, not clear properly, please. Oh, am so I, hello, am I clear now? Yeah. Ha, the monitor is yeah. this side, so a little oh. slower. Oh, is, it, is this better now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Mayur here from Beyond Bollywood. Uh, I was saying that it's a dream come true for me to be in this gathering, uh, in presence of uh, my heroes, you know, the class of 90s. And I have followed, uh, I'm a, though I'm an entertainment journalist, but I'm also a primary a cricket buff. Uh, so obviously I had two questions for Murli sir. The first one was that, uh, you know, uh, uh, watching in you in your career, especially during uh, the post-match presentations, whenever, uh, you know, Ravi Shastri, Tony Greg, they, whenever they asked you, you know, that uh, you took five wickets, eight wickets, uh, which wicket you enjoyed the most, you had a, always a very standard answer, you know, with that expression, no, all the wickets. But uh, I believe, obviously, this 800 wicket which you got, you know, in Gaul in 2010, uh, there was a story, I think, behind the, I think, in, in the Indian last pair of Ishan uh, Sharma and Pragyan Oja. Uh, I think they had uh, defied uh, the Sri Lankan bowling attack uh, for quite some time. Uh, so, so, firstly, uh, will you be able to relive that, uh, uh, you know, uh, obviously, uh, not just the moment, but uh, before that moment, if you can just talk about that first. Uh, then I have a second question for you, sir. First, I'll answer the first one. Yeah, first yeah. one. No, because when I, everyone knows that I retired when I was 792, last match to go. So this is um, the match that uh, I had enough of cricket. So I decided to retire. So to give the youngsters uh, another chance because they are, uh, you know, after that Rangana got 400 wickets. So they were waiting to uh, give them a chance. So I had nothing to achieve. So I thought... Uh, so, you know, the, what happened was last uh, inning, uh, uh, India was follow on and last batsman to a batting. So, I had uh, 799 wickets. So, when we uh, uh, bowling that, uh, good, la good thing happened was Lasit Malinga was bowling and he got injured and he went off. Because if you have bowled for tailenders, you know how we lethal is lucky, Lasit would have got the wicket. So Rangan Erath was bowling and myself. We bowled about close to 14 overs in between to get the last wicket. Um, so then uh, water break came. So Ishan and uh, Pagan was there. So then I went and asked. Uh, so I went and asked them uh, that. I told him. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say that bit about. But. So end of the day, I was lucky enough to pick the last wicket. Mayala got the slip catch and got it. So it was not easily happened. It hap I thought it meant to be happened rather than anything else because, you know, anybody could take that wicket. And also, uh, last wicket of that match, I have to take it. So for me, it's a 800 was a number. But end of the day, this 800 became a big popular uh, all over the world be became because 800 number became a very popular for me. Even the movie is named as 800, how to achieve 800. So that's what happened, I can say to you. Uh, so my second question for you is that... To get the last wicket. Um, so then uh, water break came. So Ishan and uh, Pagan was there. So then I went and asked... Uh, so I went and asked them uh, that... I told him... Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say that bit about. But so end of the day, I was lucky enough to pick the last wicket. Mayala got the slip catch and got it. So it was not easily happened. It hap I thought it meant to be happened rather than anything else because you know anybody could take that wicket. And also uh, last wicket of that match, I have to take it. So for me, it's a 800 was a number. But at the end of the day, this 800 became a big popular uh, all over the world be became because 800 number became a very popular for me. Even the movie is named as 800, how to achieve 800. So that's what happened, I can say to you. Uh, so my second question for you is that uh, uh, this film has had its uh, own journey. You know, initially, obviously, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, the film has been uh, uh, you know, in the wings for a while. And, uh, you know, it's, it's sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear. this film, particular film, has had its own journey. You know, earlier, obviously, there was a different actor. 
and uh, you know certain things happen because of which there was a slight change. Uh, so and now after looking at this trailer, I wanted to ask you, how confident are you that you know come at the uh, at end of this film, you know, once people go to theaters and watch these films, you know, they'll be able to leave, you know, all the other things, off the pitch things behind. And, uh, you know, uh, that they'll be able to say that this film is about a cricketer, you know, and uh, the identities, you know, don't matter when it comes to sports. Yeah, because this film is not talking about my records and records and everything. It is talking about how I achieved this 800. It is all about inside story. Even some stories I don't know. But what director went and two years researched and stayed in Colombo and Candy and went to my places, spoke to my friends, spoke to, it's a true story. So it is, it is not anything added or anything what has really happened and he has put into a screenplay. So whether public has to like it or not, that's up to them because it is not going to be like everyday match or match. Match will come only very little. Right? But the inside, what happened? Inside. So people, I think in this world, people doesn't know what's happened in the dressing room. So even everyone knows if you take Sachin today as Kambinia, and you know he got 18,000 run, 15,000 run. To get that, what he has done, how he did it, there is nobody knows. Only he will know, his friends will know, who the colleagues will know. So this is what we wanted to present it to. Actually, I didn't want to take a movie at the first place, which co coincidentally happened because uh, Venkat Prabhu sir came and to my house as a visitor, mm -hmm. right? Because my uh, wife's childhood friend and they all with Sripati and everybody was there. At the time, just funnily had discussion and said, why don't you do a film? Then uh, I was first assistant. Then my manager for, forced me, okay, you better do whether they want to do it. So give the rights to them. So that's what happened rather than uh, anything else. So I think people will know unstory, not only the story of mine, sto history of Sri Lanka as well, they yeah. will reveal on this. Because people doesn't know perspective of Sri Lanka. See, so, so many obstacles through when time went, even in cricket, even in my life. So how did went, how Sri Lanka went, as a cricketing nation, how we developed as a cricketing nation. So everything will be revealed in this movie if you watched. Uh, just one final question from my side, Murli sir. Obviously, the, the great Sanat Joshiro mentioned that, uh, you know, uh, in the dressing room, you were always constantly chatting. Mm -hmm. You were like a coach. Mm -hmm. So once, obviously, when you joined CSK, you know, under MS Dhoni, mm -hmm. uh, did you also try to coach MS Dhoni or, or the CSK teammates? Were you also chatting in that Chennai dressing room? Definitely, that is my uh, habit. Uh, my habit doesn't change wherever I played or whoever with I play. So my natural, I don't want to fake anything. I, natural instincts will come. So in dressing room, I'm a personal, different person. I am in my house, I'm a different person. I'm in public, I'm a different person. So that is the way 